hello to all my beautiful people out there thank you so much for watching my video dropping comments and uh, sharing my videos with your friends that meant a lot to me it really encouraged me to make more videos uh, in the future thank you so much for that so today is q and a's uh, video and let's start with the questions what drew you behind the lens and why how and when i didn't have uh, any any goal in my life to find myself behind a camera but things just happen in my life as the life goes on and that was in year 2011 when i was studying uh, when i was doing my course ba course on tibetan philosophy at the institute at the institute of buddhist dialectics in mclaganj in year 2011 so one day i saw a notice about tibetan short film competition which was organized by tibet festival uh, committee from switzerland and i thought like maybe i should try i should try and then I make a short video during the winter vacation and then submit uh, to the festival. And during the festival, uh, I got so many encouragement emails and people started to approach to me and saying they love my uh, movie so much and they want to see me making more videos in the future. So that's how it just encouraged me and that's that's the time i find myself uh, the power of storytelling and how much you can uh, you know move people through the video uh, within a short period of time then i started to keep in touch uh, with my camera and the more i started to keep touch with the camera the more i started to fall in love with the camera so now it's been almost 10 years so that's how it goes on and now here i'm today recording this video for all of you what is your opinion on depression how do you think one should uh, one should come out of it i can tell uh, about the depression from my own experiences in my life so that was the time uh, when I took decision to change monk's life in year 2010, I went through a several uh, depression uh, because I found myself left over from my friends group, my family members group, and also my community as well. Uh, so all those uh, negative energies and uh, the very disturbing things happening in my life during at that time lead me into a depression and make me very unhappy about my about the decision which I had uh, taken in my life. So I was thinking what I should have to do, and then I thought maybe I should, you know, run away from my community and find a new place, a new culture. And let's see if uh, I can find myself a little bit less depression and more uh, happier life. So I went to a new place and I started to seeing the things in a very different way. And I started to discover myself. There are so many ways to get rid from the depressions. Uh, the best way for me is exploring the new places and the new culture it helped a lot to you know get rid from the depression and i think uh, if you could practice it during the time uh, you are having a depression maybe it could also help you a lot i would love to see what dharamsala looks like tour of local streets of dharamsala i have a short documentary uh, about uh, Dharamsala and especially about the Tibetan people and Tibetan culture, uh, you can also watch it. Uh, it's on my channel, so I will give 
the link over here. You can also go and check it. And I know that there are so many people who really wanted to see uh, the local streets of uh, Damsala. So I will try to make a video. So let's see. How many languages you speak? What is your favorite things to do when you are in vacation? I speak only three languages. Uh, Tibetan, English, and a little bit of Hindi here and there. My favorite thing to do during vacation is sun bath, swimming, watch movie, eat good food, relax. Yeah, that's it. That's that. That's all my favorite things I would love to do during uh, my vacation. What makes you feel complete? I would feel complete uh, if I had my own country and if I had a passport to travel the world and make a video. That could make me a complete. How long does it take for you to edit a simple video like a short daily video? Uh, it, it takes our Eight, eight, eight or seven hours, uh, including the shooting and editing, and also planning. So it takes almost uh, eight hours. How is your lockdown going on? I started to feel a little bit worried about the lockdown, so that's why I started to make a daily blog to keep myself uh, busy and active during the lockdown. Meanwhile, I started to get a little bit worried because so many of my projects uh, started to uh, get cancelled because of the lockdown. And if this lockdown continues, uh, if this lockdown continue for coming few months or maybe whole this year, Let's see, I don't know. Uh, just, it's, yeah, it's very boring. It's very boring. 